What's your baseball philosophy? What got you so far? Uh, just be competitive more than anything. Just, uh, you know, get everything I have, every chance I get, and take advantage of every opportunity. Do you pitch to your strengths or a batter's weakness? Uh, most of my strengths, you know, uh, especially in the big leagues, there's a few hitters that you're, you know, you need to be careful with pitch selection, but, you know, most of the time I'm just pitching my game. Were you a first-round draft pick? I was not. Fifth round. Now, because everybody talks about these first-round draft picks and how they have all the talent in the world, but and mo a lot of them make it to major leagues, obviously. But there are some that are getting passed up by guys in later rounds. Why does that happen? Um, I'd say, I mean, people develop quicker. You know, guys get drafted out of college and they're more big league ready than guys that get drafted first round out of high school. And it's just, um, you know, how quick you can absorb the things you learn in the minor leagues and implement them in your game and kind of uh, take it to the next level. It's different for everybody. There's no secret formula for it or everybody be doing it, so. Now, every year, Seattle, every major league team, brings some more guys to compete with you at the major league level. You may show up, there may be 15 pitchers standing on the mound with you. How do you approach that? Can you ask that again? I'm sorry. Every year, every uh, team brings in more guys to compete with you at the major league level. Right. At spring training, you may show up, and there may be 15 guys standing around. Right. How do you approach that? Um, I mean, you can't think about it too much. Uh, you know, this year's my first time making the team out of camp, so it's, you know, it's exciting for me. And uh, going into next year, I'm going to try to have the same mindset as I did and just uh, do what I can do. And, you know, you can't make decisions for people, and you can't impress people any more than you can. So just do what you can do and enjoy it. Now, baseball is a game of injuries, ups and downs, a lot of failure, because baseball is a failure sport. Has there been a time that you wanted to give up baseball? Uh, never a time I wanted to give up baseball, um, just from having failure or anything like that. Um, but, I mean, yeah, I guess my career's gone, you know, got here pretty quick. And I, I had a few rocky points in the minor leagues, a couple in the big leagues last year, but uh, nothing that's made me want to give it up. How did you get through those bad times? Um, I mean, especially as a bullpen guy, you just kind of flush it and go the next day because, you know, there's times I'm in there three days in a row. Um, same thing in the minor leagues. So, I mean, you just can't get hung up on one bad outing, you know. I had a pitching coach in AA tell me if you do your job seven times out of ten, you're going to have a pretty good career. So, you know, it's kind of the opposite of a hitter, three out of ten. But. What did you learn about pro baseball that you learned the hard way that nobody told you about? I guess for me, it's, um, you know, last year was kind of an adjustment period for me, but balancing uh, family life outside of baseball with baseball. You know, you want to come in and give baseball 110%, and, you know, even when you're not at the field, you're thinking about things and doing stuff like that, but, you know, when you're between the lines, that's all you're thinking about, and when you're at home, you're with your family. You kind of got to have two different worlds there. Now, once you sign a contract, obviously you're a professional baseball player, but was there a time a moment that you realized that you're gonna play professional baseball before that? Um, my junior or my freshman year of junior college, uh, I got drafted by Texas, like a 40-something round, and uh, you know I was excited at that point because I didn't get you know picked, I didn't get recruited by big schools out of high school, and you know I wasn't all over the map and in the newspapers like you know a lot of guys you see out of high school, and. Um, Kind of that somebody noticed me and I got drafted, even though it was late. I was, you know, kind of added fuel to my fire, desire to do better. You read the scouting reports, sports pages, where Baseball America ranks you in the organization, things like that. I, I did early, in like my first year in the minor leagues, and uh, you know, it was cool just to be like, you know, top 20, top 25, whatever, top 15. But uh, you know, now I kind of got to the point where, it, you know. I really don't care too much what other people think. It's just, you know, what I can do and, you know, prove people wrong if I need to or, you know, um, meet the hype if I need to. So. How do you handle the fans, people yelling and screaming at you all the time? How do I handle it? How do you handle it? Um, I just, you know, put a smile on my face and wave at them. I mean, have a nice day. Uh, I was actually at a pitching in a game Tuesday and I had a seven-year-old lady yelling at me, telling me I sucked and stuff. So it was, it was pretty funny, but 
is part of it. How about the umpires? How do you handle the umpires, especially as a pitcher? Um, I don't get too uh, caught up on the umpires. You know, they're trying to do a job just like we are, and they're going to have good days and bad days just like we are. Um, you know, if you're if you're begging for outside pitches or begging for balls on the plate and on the corner, and you're really not filling up the zone like you should be, anyways. So, I mean, from that standpoint, you know, I think they do a pretty good job. I haven't had any problems so far. What would you tell a high school player about professional baseball if he came up and asked you? Um, if you get the opportunity, take advantage of it. Uh, you know, you're only young once, and if um, you know you get drafted or signed as a free agent, you have the opportunity. So don't you know waste it? You might only get that one chance.